Guys, um, today is uh, we're going to cut the chives because they've been well overdue and this is what I've been waiting for and I, I love the flowers and salads and um, we're going to cut the chives so welcome to number nine farms and my helper is cutting the chives I guess because he's down well and you're going to use the same scissors that you cut the wings of the chickens <laughs> they're uh, multi you going to go down that deep? I'm going to go where you tell me to go. You okay. Tell me to... You can go like right here. You don't have to go that far down. But All you right. can, I mean, if you want. Yeah, I want you to... Uh... Hold them. All right. Let me put the camera down. All right, guys. So he came up with a better idea because um, it wasn't going to work with the scissors. It, it would have took forever. <laughs> so he went and got the... Wait, I guess it's like a hacksaw. It's a tree trimmer. Oh. Look at that. Alright, I'm done. You can use your tool. <laughs> it smells so good. Yeah, they really do. The onion chives. Yeah, so um, the ladies on top. Okay. And to the freeze dryer they will go. Okay, and then there's one more. Golly, golly days, Max. There's there's one more, I thought. Is it over here? I don't know then. So this is the valerian right here. And uh, you can harvest the roots. That's the anise hyssop. More yarrow. Yeah. Oh, there it is right there, Bruce. I knew there was one more. <laughs> is that a, do you want to still do this one? Yeah, I still want to do it. You can... I'll take all the yellows out. You want to do that one later? Might as well do it while we're all doing... No, we're going to do it now. That way they can grow back. There you go. That was quick. Yes. All right. Look how much it is beautiful isn't it and we're going to the freeze dryer with these right yes all right well let's go okay all right so now i'm getting ready to wash all up this beautiful uh chives i'm telling you i'm gonna cut the flowers off and then start cutting the um the i don't know what you call them leaves petals <laughs> fronds <laughs> Fron, <you call> <laughs> Alrighty, look at that there's beautiful chives the flowers. <laughs> All right, so look. You want to tell he days that thing. You want to tell him what you're doing? I am cutting chai, onion chives. And how you, you've you got it, do you folding them up and kind of... Yeah, I'm folding them up into a big ball and just cutting them up. And then that way they can go into the freeze dryer and make, we'll make powder afterwards. Mm-hmm, look at that. Yeah. So this tray, we I've been cutting them with these uh, scissors here, and then Bruce has been doing all the cutting for the main um, ones that'll go to powder. And there's a little flower there, and this is the other trays. So now these are going in the freeze dryer, and then the one that we have, the, the little bit that we have left in the sink, um, we are going to put... Did you get a Tootsie Pop? <laughs> um, I don't know. We'll find out and you can tell us. <laughs> um, so in these last little bit, we'll go into the uh, freezer because we got the other trays on the table and we'll go ahead and, um, you know, go put those in the freezer. So then that way nothing got wasted and I got to harvest all those chives, which is a blessing. Okay, guys, um, here you have it. All right, let's go into the freezer. I mean, the, the freeze dryer dry. now. It is also, uh, in my defense, 940. <laughs> um, these are the ones that we're, get, we're saving for our potatoes, and the rest of them will be powdered, and these will be powdered as well. All right, guys, so there they're in. I can hardly see because I'll have my glasses on, <laughs> but we're ready to start. Okay, right, guys, so it looks like we've got 22 hours and 55 minutes and 53 seconds on there. 
So I'm going to close, open the valve and we're going to see how they look. All right, let's see. Ooh. Oh, look at that. That is going to grind up beautifully. Beautifully. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness, they're beautiful. And then these are the ones I'm going to do for the potatoes. See how small they are? That way we can just put them right on the top of the potatoes. And of course, all the other trays all look the same. So I'm going to grind all that up now and let's see what we get. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get all of them in here. You can hear how light and fluffy they are. See, now I love all these on my salads when they're fresh, but I got so far behind and I just, we had the first salad last night and um well in a while for from the garden so i went around and just grabbed um everything that was ready to go into the um salad and it was absolutely delicious uh i'm telling you and colby comes in and he says i didn't want something cold i wanted something hot and warm um <laughs> I was like, sorry, dude. Um, this is the dinner. If you don't like it, then you go ahead and um, swipe your card somewhere else. <laughs> I mean, he gives me the hardest time. You know, oh, this cheese wasn't right. This cheese is right. This isn't. <laughs> He's funny. But, you know, I thought the salad was absolutely delicious. So, in fact, I was really impressed on how good it was and it was nice to have that fresh lettuce out of the garden it came out of the cold frame but it's still beautiful and still lovely and the, the carrots are ready too so they're little tiny carrots um and then i've been giving the tops this year to the uh rabbits because i don't need a, another um top but you can see how nice it's going to come out And then what I do sometimes is I just move it back and forth. And this is the 16 cup KitchenAid, because a lot of people ask me what size it is. So in case you were wondering, it's 16 cup. So I'm gonna put these, okay, it hits. Look at that, well, let's open it and look. Oh my goodness, beautiful. And smells like a fresh onion. So I teared out the jar, and now I'm gonna go ahead and scoop scoop them into the little spice jars. I think I might have to get something else. Whoop! That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so we've got 0.2 ounces. Oh, 0 0.15, 0 0.15, okay. Thought it was 20. Tricked me. My goodness, where, I use a little measuring spoon. That's what I'll do to get it. So you can, that, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna get all those done. Whew, I need a third hand today. Um, in jewelry making, um, there is a third hand. It's actually a little thing where you can solder and stuff and hold on to it. And, uh, but then sometimes I say, nope, three hands was not, would not work out. Kind of be like that third wheel. <laughs> okay, so we got 0.25. That looks good, doesn't it? So if you wanted to, you could take and put the rag down and then tap it some so you could get more in it and that's and all this is here is uh the little funnel that came with the the jars it's like a soft uh, funnel all right so we're going with 0 0.30 ounces 30 0.30 ounces so maybe like a third you guys these are delicious 
delicious if you like onions. Mm, so good. Those are the ones that fell on the countertop. And I had a clean countertop when I started. So I always use that um, peroxide or the vinegar and essential oil to, and with water to clean. Rosie thinks there's something over there. <laughs> you want a treat, Rosie? <laughs> you want a treat? You want a treat? Huh? You want to tell everybody you want a treat? That's right. All right, so I'm back up from the basement. Another tray going in the food processor. So, of course, I had to give the treats. No surprise there. Every dog came running. <laughs> They do love uh, those treats. And when I buy treats, like I usually buy them from people at the farmer's market, but um, Cindy, I get a lot from Cindy because she's the lady we stay at at her house. And um, she, uh, that's what she does. That's what her business is, Canine Crumpets. So we get a lot from her. Plus she'll give us, sometimes they'll get the, uh, what do you call it? The, the ones that are um, burnt or something or didn't or broke, which, you know, they don't care what they look like. So, and then also, um, I've made them in the past. Plus, uh, a lot of times um, we'll get like a, one. it's a peanut butter cookie, but look how nice that is. So now I can put another tray in here and it actually does better fuller. Um, but I try to get the the ones with the less junk in them because I don't want to fill my dog up with junk either. But look at that, it's gonna do good. Okay, I just wanted to show you how much I got um, from all the trays. And I'm going to go ahead now and do the same thing. And Sonny likes to talk to you guys too. So every time the video starts, he starts talking. Sonny, why are you talking now? Are you going to tell everybody hi? I can't whistle anymore. No. <laughs> You're the pretty bird, aren't you? You're the pretty bird. Pretty bird. Right, so it weighs 0.50, so half ounce. So look at that. Beautiful. So you can fill, get those filled. That and how beautiful it was. <laughs> so just think, I'll be able to sell these at the farmer's market and they haven't been irradi irradiated by radiation because they do that to a lot of the spices. So then they're just basically a null and void or no, no purpose for anything in your body. And these will have incredible taste and they're very fresh. And not only that, there's absolutely no pesticides or anything on them at all. And they've just grown fresh right here in my garden. So, and these I'm gonna be putting on my potato. And then I've got one down here to sell. Don't wanna make you guys dizzy. And then I saved some of this. And so like next time I'll make some chive salt um, with it. So then that way, if you wanna add some salt with it, I'll do that next time. But there you have it. And I'm very proud of it. Now I've just got to make my labels. And this, I'm definitely going to keep one too. Because that is delicious. And I might not get any more flowers this year. Okay, so that would be the end of this um, freeze drying part of the video. I am going to now um, show you guys some of my garden. If you want to hang around. Well guys, look at this. 
This was the little thing I got at Aldi on um, one night. It was supposed to be $19.99, and I said to the guy, isn't it half price now since there's only one? And he said, yes, it is. <laughs> and he rang it up for $10.99. So um, I got this, and then Bruce um, has made these boards on the sawmill. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure what kind of wood was this. Do you remember? A spruce. Okay. So there is um, this finally done. And I'm so excited about it. Mm -hmm. It's just, I love it. It's like, it's like a 1099 greenhouse. Because That's right. Because it would come right off the property. And it was basically free to make. That's right. So over here, um, I want to show you. These are the peas. And of course the parsley that I've already cut um, numerous times. And there again, it's already ready to get um, we've got the uh, Johnny Jump Up here, or some people call them violas, or um, we have those. And these these actually grew on their own because I planted some the first year I was here, and they just like spread like magic. And these are all the onions, and of course they they really could use a trimming, but um, that's kind of a controversy subject. Yeah. So. Um, here we have um, everything that got sun scorched because, of course, it came right out of the greenhouse. And you know, guys, I know better than that, but I was like desperate to get it planted. Yes, she was. So it's, um, it'll be fine. Trust me, it'll be fine. So everything is doing good, got new growth already, and Cosmos, that they will all come back. Yes, everything is doing good. So no worries. And this here, and this little tomato got broke off um, yesterday because I had shade cloth on these. And the shade cloth um, had, of course, flapped in the wind. And we have, but I have plenty of tomatoes to replace it. Yes, we do. Okay, so these are just volunteer um, sunflowers. And lots of tomatoes. And um, some sunflowers, I mean, not sunflowers. Um, marigolds and basil, the purple basil and the cinnamon basil. More Johnny Jump Up volunteers. Um, and these here are some more tomatoes. And I, I did some different things this year because things are different. So, <laughs> yes, everything's different yeah. this year for us. And so, more the cauliflower, which you guys have already have seen, and um, the beans. These are the 1,500-year-old K-beans. These here are more 1,500-year-old K-beans, so then we'll get that arch again like we had last year. So if you guys remember that, um, this here is the Christmas beans. Right here, both um, things, they have kind of got eaten up a little bit, but, you know, that's how it is sometimes. Um, it's the year of the bug. Yes. Broccoli, onions few sunflowers mixed in. Um, I like to put the sunflowers with the broccoli because then it protects them for all the sun because then that way um, they're shaded more and then your broccoli doesn't um, sprout as much or go to seed. Get out of there, Maxie. I know what Maxie's going to do. Uh-uh. No, mister. You're out of there. Um, and then here we have the um, cabbage, sunflowers, and kale on the ends and some Swiss chard and a couple of beans mixed in. And here we have some cucumbers, um, pumpkins that grew on their own, some flowers that grew on their own, and some more cucumbers. And of course, ta -da! Da -da -da. the like tallest um, garlic, garlic ever. And of course this um, gourd. This one is the birdhouse board. And I've got a bunch of those mixed in um, different places. And then we have the um, zucchini. And the zucchini actually has already some of the uh, yellow zucchini already growing on it, which is really, really amazing. You can see here, more onions. And then I like how the sunflower grew out of the hole. Oh, yes. In there. So I told Bruce, I said, don't touch it. Let it grow. And then if you look down here, are now planted with the amazing, ah, Maxie. 
Hey, you ain't gonna eat the corn, bro. Mm. Um, so all the corn here, of course, I did give it a um, dose of Chilean nitrate today. Yeah. So that's um, pure nitrogen. Um, and then, of course, the peppers are all pinned again, and we still have a lot more peppers to plant. Sweet. Bruce is shaking his head like, yeah. oh my God. We probably have another 400 pepper plants to plant. At least. At least. That's okay. Yeah. We and need peppers. I need stir fry. And not only that, the um, pickles. Pickles and stir fry. Okay. Then these are calendula. And there's a few radish growing in between that are grown on their own because this is where the radishes were last year. As you can see right here. And of course right here. And these are my favorites here. Oh, da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Drum roll, please. And okay. we have how many more to plant of these? I have three more of those in the, the little outhouse. Yes. Um, so this one has broccoli and this one has cauliflower. And um, we had bought these. I had some before I moved here. And then I got like two more when we moved here. And I have yet to be able to plant them all. And my goal this year is to plant them all. Is to plant them all. So. Let's hope it happens. So here I usually have like flowers and stuff, but this is the cana that I got at the uh, plant sale, which um, is doing beautiful. These are some more of the um, pansies that keep coming back and the Johnny Jump Ups. These are the onions. You never and, have enough onions. Um, that down there is all lettuce and the, we ate salads with the lettuce and it's absolutely delicious. And that's, the carrots are amazing too that are, um, mm -hmm, yes. They are. So when we pull some of the onions up too, let's, let's show them. And then this is that mullein. And this has to be a second year mullein because it looks like it's going to go ahead and flower. Um, so the second year of the mullein comes out and it puts the flowers on it. It does not plant flowers on the first year. So we have mullein everywhere. Yes. And country. And country. Yeah. Everywhere. Um, and so these are the carrots, and you can see some of the spring onions, and then the beautiful lettuce. And we have literally been eating lettuce like nobody's business. And um, up here, I planted um, these tomatoes with you guys. And uh, if you remembered um, the little secret that I told you all about the things to do, um, if you can tell, look at this. Now. In the past, in the greenhouses, in the high tunnels, I have always um, clipped them and kept them trimmed. We're not doing that anymore. But last year, we were unable to do that. And I'm telling you, I, I had like a gazillion tomatoes. And if you guys, if you remember, if you go back to some of the old videos, um, tomatoes went crazy. So this year, I'm just going to let them do their thing. Yeah. Let Mother Nature take over. Yeah, we don't have the time to do it either. If you can see how good they look. Terry, it was really cold the other night here. Yes, we went down. And the alarms have been going off on the greenhouse. Every night. Um. Yes, every night. And uh, it's been, um, we're going down to the low 40s. So plants don't like anything below 50. In fact, they, they literally turn like a, um, a purpley color. But if these are the blueberries, and this is my third year with these blueberries, and when I got them, they were just a And look at the blueberries. And now that I have the auger, thanks to Jay. Yes, we will be drilling them in. We will be drilling them and planting them. Oh, so, Jane saved my spine. <laughs> but <laughs> Bruce is like, I can't believe. Um, how much it actually made you hurt after drilling? Oh, I drilled, holes. yeah, I drilled a hundred and some holes yesterday and I, I earned them. So all the basil is growing really well and I've always put basil and marigolds in between them. And, and but if you come look at these tomatoes, I want you guys to see how good these tomatoes look. And these are the potato leaf tomatoes. So these are the um, German pink. Um, uh, German Johnson has that as well. But look at the uh, buds on them already. So it's going to be a good year. I already know it. These are the... Um, the 
walking onions. Walking onions. But um, I can't uh, think of them. I have no not, idea. Not Jerusalem. Is it Jerusalem walking onions? Could be. Um, we're gonna call them. Anyway, we'll call them Larry today. Okay, whatever. But anyways, <laughs> I've waited to them to try to get some more um, buds off them because these actually you plant again and these um you can all uh, set and that's what i did but uh colton wants some of those so i'm going to send some of those to colton and these are some more onions some more yarrow now uh, this here um i plan on being the beet bed so the beet goes on <laughs> yeah <laughs> um because i gotta have beets because we only have like two jars left so we definitely gotta have beets um this here is some more of the tomatoes i planted with you guys and look how good they look more of the potato leaf which i love all those and over here i have all the strawberries that i grew from seeds so a, cu a couple of them i think i bought um which would be those right here but i think i bought them what like a couple years ago and they just they're actually growing over there in the the field yes so i dug them up and i planted them over here but these all are the ones that I grew from seed, and they're called the alpine strawberries. And we are actually um, got some blood. So that's that's a good thing. But now, um, strawberries don't like a lot of uh, nitrogen. So a lot of times when they got a lot of nitrogen to them, they don't bloom as well. So that's something that you can... Um, and then here we go with the... Uh, is there Egyptian? Egyptian. <laughs> See your big brain in it today. Right, so look, um, this is the yarrow. So, or some people say yarrow. And you can make tea with this. This is healing. This is good for um, making salves. Um, this help. This is a bleed stop. So if any time that you um, got bleeding, this is a really great um, for a bleed stop. Or if you cut your black uh, dog's toenails that are all yeah. black in them. <laughs> Dark. Let's do that at 10 o'clock at night. That sounds like a great idea, That's right? That's what Colton did one time. Yeah, Colton, we remember. <laughs> uh, and I was freaking out because the dog's toenail was bleeding. Of course, we had um, some bleed stop. And so, basically, I have... Okay, so I haven't showed them over here, right? No. And in the greenhouse, just wanted to show you what's um, blooming. So if you can still look at the greenhouse, all that stuff still has to be something done with. Ooh, yeah. night shift's coming in and finish it. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. And then my sage, um, this is the second year on the sage, which it has bloomed. And look at that. Um, I love sage. Um, this is more yarrow, and of course I have some pansies, and not pansies, but uh, gourds egg, throughout. And egg plants, and egg plants. Huh? And egg plants. Oh yeah, and egg plants. Here I have pansies. Hmm. Um, these are, because of course I have to wait till my helper comes to, in order to put things to it, because I can't lift any of the bags or anything like that. So, and here's more peppers still left to plant. The Artichoke. scary part is we planted over 400 peppers already, too. Did you count them? Yes, I did. We planted 400 peppers already. Oh, my. The celery is going here. Um, so, normally I had the celery over there. Like I said, I'm doing, I rotate things around. Um, and what I do is I keep a, a little garden journal. And I mark what I have in the journal because if you don't, you won't remember. Trust me. You won't. Yeah. I And uh, every year I'm like, oh, yeah, I got it. I remember. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then here is those loofahs that I planted one day for, with you guys. Now, I did lose a couple because they got broke off in that really bad storm that we had. Um, But I got little loofahs. Bruce, focus. <laughs> I'm feeding the mosquitoes right now. Um, all the loofahs, and then here is the small gourds, and then look, and you see how well they're growing. Mm -hmm. They're doing so well. Ugh. And then, ooh, the mosquitoes. The mosquitoes um, are bad right I now. I actually had lettuce to come back. This is my little lettuce bed, and I haven't even done anything this year. 
and look at this yellow caddis fly that is growing and that's a sweet little like um boat delicata and then i've got lots of birds over here um paragon and these are my um Norfolk Island pines. Yeah, my Norfolk Island pines, which I love these things. Um, I grow the, I've grown the, I've had Norfolk Island pines for as long as we've been married. And I've had the last, what, don't even look at that. Mm -hmm. I saw that face. <laughs> How long has that been? For almost 40 years. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That makes you how old today? I, I don't even want to talk about it. All right, so these Norfolk Island pines, I put them out maybe a little too early this year because look, you can see what the um, cold has done to them. It's been a really crazy year. So we, I mean, literally, normally we don't have the cold nights like this. Still. No, we would, we would already be way ahead of this, but. Yeah, normally we were already making stir fries by now. Yes. But it, it but it was such a, a warm winter. And I think that's why we got so many bugs too this year. Yeah, we got Plus, a lot of bugs. Plus there's been a lot of rain. And the rain creates more bugs. Yes. And um, there's been a, sl a slug issue. And an aphid issue. Yes. So I got one um, sage, stevia, more lavender, and there's chives that we cut the other night. And then, of course, more peppers. And as you can see, the peppers are loaded with peppers ready to go. And this, like I said, this is a celery bed. So uh, basically, I have showed you guys everything that is going on right now in the garden, and I hope to uh, get to the high tunnel next. Mm. So, guys, I just planted the rosemary that I grew from seed right over here, and the eucalyptus that I also grew from seed, and these are down in the basement. If you remember from back in like January, February, that time frame, and you can see, look at this comfrey plant, and as you can see, it's definitely tall but the mosquitoes are about to carry us away yes. and i just want to say thanks for watching and once again i'll see you next time